Hello Rider fans! The trailer for the Built Summer movie dropped last week and that is our topic of discussion for today. Let's get right into it. We are immediately introduced to a new character. From the cheers of the crowd, the filming cameraman and the flags, it's obvious that he's somewhat of importance. The flag itself is a combination of the Toto, Seto and Hokuto flags, so since we know that the movie takes place after the events of the series, we can infer that Gentoku gets his wish. Japan finally becomes united after Evol's civil war. This person is probably one of the country's new leaders. Taking a closer look at the united flag, you will notice that Toto is slightly larger compared to the other two and occupies the center position, so perhaps this is a hint that Toto has become the main authority over all of Japan, which isn't surprising considering it is the hero's country. So something extremely fishy is going on. For some unknown reason, the entire country and its leaders are trying to destroy Build. Here we see a triggered Misora attacking Sento. Now this is important because we know that no matter what Senso might have done at the end of the series or between the series and the movie, it is highly unlikely that Misora would turn against Senso of her own will because she knows his character and intentions best. That makes this scene extremely suspicious. I think they included this scene to hint that there might be some mind control or brainwashing going on in the background and that's why the entire country has turned against Senso. Of course, she could just be angry at Senso for trying to do something self-sacrificial again but I don't think they would include this scene just for that. And and here we are introduced to the movie's villains, the Blood Clan. There are three in total, including the man who initiated the Build Annihilation Plan. Most likely, they are the new governors of Toto, Seito and Hokuto. But who exactly are they? Two hints. 1. The name Blood. 2. Their mission to consume planets. Both these things they have in common with Evolt. I don't think it's a mere coincidence that Evolt used the name Bloodstark for the majority of the series. Bloodstark is probably his true name as a member of the Blood Clan. And come on, it went to the trouble of including a shot of Isurugi in this Blood Clan introduction scene. What does this mean? There must be a connection, but we still don't know exactly what. My personal guess is that Evolt was the leader of the Blood Clan, and these three members have come to avenge him and destroy Earth once and for all. I'll explain why later in the trailer. So now we know that Banjo will betray Senso to join the Blood Clan, increasing the evidence that they are probably connected to Evolt, since Banjo's body contains Evolt's DNA. He steals the Hazard Trigger and gives it to one of the Blood Clan members, who uses it together with the Great Cross Dragon to become Kamen Rider Blood. Okay, so these two Smash are probably the other Blood Clan members. I think the third one has a Smash form as well, but is only able to transform into a rider with Banjo's gear since Banjo has the DNA of like the true Evolt. So basically, I believe these three members are just Smash, so they are not as powerful as Evolt who can outright turn into a rider. This is why I think Evolt was the Blood Clan leader, or at least their god or idol of sorts. Right here we see the gold rabbit and silver dragon bottles. The gold and silver rabbit dragon form was already revealed in the movie preview a few months ago, so nothing too surprising there. And it looks like Senso will have to kill Banjo to save the earth, but will it really happen? Well, considering the developments in build so far, I think the writer has the guts to do it, unlike in X8, but we shall see. Regardless of whether Banjo survives or not, I'm confident that we will be given a satisfying conclusion to build one of the best Neo Heisei Rider series. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next Kamen Rider video. Be the one, be the one, all right, the tears of tomorrow will be nothing but a bad dream. Be the night, be the night.